Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and as you probably are aware already, Samsung have just finished their announcement, or official announcement at least, of the Samsung Galaxy S3, also known as the i9300. And I watched on with anticipation and then looked at my Twitter feed, which went absolutely crazy with Android fans singing its praises and Apple iPhone fans saying it has got a lot of features that seem a complete copy of the Apple iPhone, including Samsung's version of Siri, which is very interesting to see them include. But apart from that, there are a lot of good specifications in the Samsung Galaxy S3, which will hit the UK on the 30th of May 2012. We have got a super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen, which looks absolutely fantastic. 1280 by 720 resolution, 4.8 inches in size, so we're going up in size again. That's very, very big for a mobile phone. And that equates to a 306 PPI pixel density. Now, camera-wise, they've done a really good job as well, an 8 megapixel camera on the rear, capable of shooting 1920 by 1080 full HD video, and a really nice front-facing camera that is capable of 720p video, so they've done a good job on that front. On the actual screen itself, Corning Gorilla Glass, so it should be nice and tough. It's also a real welcome addition that they have kept the physical button on the front of the handset. I think that is a wise move by Samsung. Now it's going to be running Android version 4.0.4, .4, Ice Cream Sandwich, and it's got TouchWiz version 4 over the top of this as well, so Samsung's own version of the UI and from what I've seen on some of the demonstrations so far, it looks really quite special. Sizing, 136.6 by 70.6 millimeters, under nine millimeters thick. It's actually coming in at around about, I think it's 8.5 millimeters thick. So a very, very slim phone. Weight-wise, about 130 grams, so not weighing too much. Much like the previous Galaxies from Samsung, very light in the pocket. It's got all of the other features we would expect, including GPS, uh, Bluetooth version 4 with A2DP support, and memory-wise, 1 gigabytes of RAM. It will come in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte capacities, which is absolutely fantastic. And from what I've heard, the 32 gigabyte version, when it, when it launches, if you want that on contract, is going to be exclusive to Vodafone UK. So... What do I think on this? Well, yes, people are going to make comparisons to the Apple iPhone, but I think this is a fantastic addition to the Android camp of handsets, and I'll be really looking forward to bringing my review of the Samsung Galaxy S3 when it hits the UK. So thanks very much for watching this video. Please do give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one.